What's going on, guys? We're bringing you guys a brand new episode of the podcast. This is episode 10, episode X. <laughs> I'm here with Optic Gaming, the new and improved, <laughs> the happy, the vibey. Why are you laughing, bro? Funny, bro? What's wrong with it? Wait, why are you getting all red, son? I'm embarrassed. He's starting to turn red. You see that? He is getting red. He, he's a noob to the limelight. We got like these bright lights, brand new lights in here, and Zinni's a noob to it. So you're going to have to get used to it on Optic, bro. Oh. All right, but Play thank you guys for coming on. I appreciate it. Robot Crim, appreciate you coming yeah, through. After, no problem. After a nice workout, you guys came straight through. Yeah. Solid pump. This guy refuses wait, to arm pick up right weights, son. Yeah. Yeah. Let him see the mic. He yeah, did three shrugs and walked out of the gym. Like, three shrugs. The mic. What? Mom. Wait, Seth. I threw what I did last time. I threw twenty fives. So added to that. Wait, I'm going up twenty fives on shrugs every time. Nice. Wait, you did 25 on shrugs? No, no. I don't what know you talking what about? I did. I'd... This guy doesn't know what a weight is. What are you talking is? about? <laughs> I almost did 245s. Okay, that's not too bad. That's like the just literally it second or third It time doesn't matter how big you are. If, you, if you're repping like 45s on shrugs, you can make some gains doing that. Yeah, I, I did that last time. Now I don't know. I don't see on any traps on your neck, dude. Dude, they're, hi they're there. They're hiding. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it looks like they're coming in, bro. Seth has, Seth has no traps. No, I see. I see the the trap bulge. He's been he's been going hard. Trap, Seth's Seth's new and improved, bulge. bro. Seth's been glowing walking around the venue. He's happy, dude. You, what, glowing. What, what'd you change in the lifestyle to like feel better? Exercise, eating less. Okay. I'm off the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you're off the bottle? <laughs> I stopped drinking. You retired the oh, okay. bottle. Okay, no, that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> wait, no. Wait, I'm is not. that how much damage your guys' last team did? Dude, towards the end, this guy just turned into alcohol. Wait, he, he drank himself into, into wait, nothing. You guys are idiots. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm just. Why are not, we idiots? I've just stopped drinking completely before, like oh three days before I have to do anything competitively. I won't touch anything alcoholic. That's actually a really big deal. A lot of people go to events and they're like, oh, I can drink. I, I can drink three beers. That's how before. I used to be. What alcohol? Yeah, it's got to be like three, four days. Right. Time to get blasted because on people. Thursday night. Like 40 <laughs> it is something like that. See me in the lobby at four. Because there's people who get DUIs <laughs> and they get that thing installed into their car where they have to like yeah. breathe in it. Yeah. Like the reason they can't drink at all, even if they're gonna drive the next day, is because they can be called in and like if they do a test, even if it's 24 hours, you're still showing up like you drank. Jeez. Yeah, so that shit stays in your system well, for that, a while. That was seven and a half our matches, right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh yeah. <laughs> in the beginning of the year. Price. That's been frying lately, though, so we got to give him his respect. Hey, thank you, thank All right, but let's get into some of the topics, show. New team vibes. You guys seem really happy. One of the happier teams I've seen thus far, like even since I've been playing. We hide it well. Okay. That, that's a big deal. Having Zinni makes you a pretty vibey team. But is this the honeymoon period? Yeah. Yeah? Life's, nah. a, life's a honeymoon phase, bro. We're just young morons. Somebody? We only got four mics, unfortunately. I mean... They have the old bulls. Now they have the young calves. Shout I mean, step -brothers. you've been around for a while, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm still 20 years old. <laughs> yeah. This guy's I'm, like, I'm a young too. veteran, you know? And true, you true. Three. So, yeah, I'm I mean. skinny now. That means e-girls are flooding, flooding that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? They didn't want you then. They can't have you now, Zin. When Zin's texting, texting, like, you try to talk to him. Hold the mic. It, 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 it's like he's not even there. Oh, yeah. You heard the story about he's, this? He's zoned. He's zoned. Bro, the story about this guy in the shower talking uh, to like e-girls. The shower one's crazy, yeah. dude. I've never heard of that. That's got to be like just like ahead of my or ahead of my time texting in the shower. Have you ever done that? I've well, never, no, 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 I never no, no. Do that. The phone was on, like the top right, so I can change the music and like bing. What do you mean it's at the top right? Like there's like a little ledge. Like, so like, I, the shower. I put it up there. Oh. So like it was clear of the water wow. path. I don't want to go into the story, but you know. Yeah, no. Nah. You know the story. I mean, I think it's definitely the honeymoon period, but I mean, if you keep winning, it's never going to go away. So just don't lose. What's going to happen when you guys get in that? Like, we have been in some heated arguments up. already. Really? Yeah. Nobody oh, knows about it then. Yeah, what? Oh. I think we're way past the honeymoon phase. Maury. That was maybe like first two weeks. Wait, I mean, like, we're like really wait, like. Wait, wait, Ian. First two weeks? Yeah. Dude, this guy's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this like, isn't dude, news. Dude, so, like, it's crazy. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Like, dude, it's really not dude we'll be in scrims and like I'll be like, yo, Ian, you good? I'll talk to you. Zen, you're actually pissing shut, me off today. Shut, <laughs> the, <laughs> shut the fuck up, Zen. <laughs> what did I do? I didn't do anything. Zen, I'm going to be honest. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he, has a, he, he has a tendency of when he's not doing great to just start... 
destroying other spewing people. Spewing off stuff. Zinni, like, you gotta go here. There, Seth, you there are. There was a direct well, Zinni, correlation. Zinni, Zinni doesn't listen. Oh, yeah. He's, no. got, he's got a listening problem. There's a direct correlation to Is that true? double negative. And it's not Zinni. really true. We, it's, me, okay, okay. I wouldn't we, say listening. <laughs> I would say talking over. Remember that one oh, day? Oh, <laughs> so I have, yeah, I do have an issue of like talking over people. But <laughs> that, you know what I'm saying? That, well, that's your Italian. Yeah. That's your Italian. Like, I don't mean to do it. So he told me, and I was like, why didn't you just tell? He was like, <laughs> he said, you know what? I'm going to say what I'm feeling. Then you're talking fucking over me every goddamn time we play. And I was like, you should have let me know that. And I'm way better with it now, no? Am I better yeah. with it now? Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah, no. I mean, there's always going to be some things you got to work out as a new team, but it seems like you guys got through that right away. Like those initial arguments. That's why I say, like, is this a honeymoon period? But apparently you guys are through that. You said you feel like you're way past the honeymoon like period. Yeah, no, well, I've, I feel like right now we're just like we're all just feeling good. And I don't know. It feels like previous teams, you know, when, whenever you make the roster, you all get on the same page. I feel like right now it's like we're past honeymoon period. We're all on the same page. Uh like, like, originally in the first couple of weeks, we were just trying to – or the first week, at least, we were just trying to, like, look good and, like, win and, you know – Please that, the fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get that out of the way. And then the second – after that, it was just like, okay, we need to get better. We need to get better. And That's then, good. And I think right now we're, like, past the getting better phase, and now it's just, like, we have less, like, like heated arguments or disagreements and stuff, and we're just trying to – you know, I, I wouldn't say we're going through the motions of – you know, I know you're on and, autopilot and, 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 now. Yeah, and trying to stay on top pretty yeah. much because that's how I feel like we're all, we all feel like we're on top right I mean, now. like, yeah. we don't bring, like, the arguments out of the game either. So, like, we're, that's like, good. like, we have, like, a lot of fun, like, outside of the game. Like, we have heated arguments, but, like, it's not, like, one of those things where, like, I walk into their apartment after we're, like, still bickering. It's just, like, like today, like, we got into an argument about something we did today. Smoke grenades. We got into an argument about smokes. And we, I just went to his room and I was, like... I guess I agree with you. And that was the end of it. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's the good, CTF dude. thing. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah CTF yeah. thing. For you, yeah. Seth, like, I know that in previous teams, like, when stuff gets, like, heated, like, it just annoys the shit out of you because you feel like there's no reason to be arguing, whatever. Like, I, I've, I've seen you get in that, like, mode where you're like, this is pointless. Why the hell are we arguing about this? How is it to be on a team, like, now mm-hmm. where it's not like that? Like, he said he can just walk in and accept defeat and be like, yeah, that was my bad. I agree with you. I mean, I'm – pretty vibey guy i don't really i don't really argue that much no that's what i'm saying though so my i don't question, really say anything no my question <laughs> dude dude Sam, wait dude, I'm dude, a moron? can we tell the bot story hold on <laughs> bro, bro. on, on okay. valkyrie yeah wait that, i messed up once that, and i was frying that and the no, four messed up twice and the and four is yeah the four is okay all right all right everyone quiet, everyone yeah, quiet. yeah yeah so the the unilad series seth gets praised for his three piece yep wouldn't even have gone to that. He didn't mention anything at all. We go back to watch the VOD, wondering what's happening. Bunker Hill. You know, you're supposed to play inside the hill. Four people. You know, yeah, stack it, right? Stack it. This kid preaches it every time. Put stack the hill, stack the hill. The first time on land ever, ever the first <laughs> opportunity turned, arises, so. he just dies out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like he ran out front door? Yeah, just died. Oh, yeah. Were you trying to do spawn kill? It was bad. Entrance, just died. So he, he, had, like, he could run right to the hill and slay from there. Instead, he cut a left and missed his <laughs> I, like, Dive, they were like, I knew out. they were spawning like wood trying to push school. So I went like, we call it nerd. It's the, the army truck on Valkyrie outside uh-huh. closet. I like just sprinted down midstream. Oh, so you're coming from elbow and you could have went yeah. inside. Yeah. Well, he could have cut. He even could have cut back door. Bro, that's like, funny. Shot people on the anyway, side. Anyway, long story short, this was not mentioned. So we went back and saw it. We were like, I knew I Wait messed up. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> right when I saw it, I was like, ah, oh, shit. So I, I you like, guys oh, just gave out free lessons, by the way. A lot of teams still go for those spawn kills. Wait, 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 wait. I watch call it all day, bro. CTF, we got to talk about the CTF. Oh, yeah. Well, what happened? The CTF. Flag. <laughs> so, it was stalemate. Didn't okay. The off. minute, the last minute it. starts, <laughs> and then, like, what, 56 seconds. So, there's four seconds on the clock. The guy's weak. He's got to run to Seth. Mike. He's got to run to Seth, and Seth's just sitting there inside a bunker, like, pre in the tree. Yeah. He's behind the tree. And four seconds go by. Seth runs, or, or four seconds left. He, all he had to do is hold the angle. And he just pushed him. He gets shot in the side. That's that aggression. And bro. they get they get the cap. What's funny is like usually like you watch a VOD and someone makes a mistake and like. <laughs> yeah, let's not mention against LG Seth on CTF popping threes, getting the cuts. See, oh, see, you don't see, get the mic right now. It's my fucking turn. <laughs> <laughs> so like, Wait, my I want, turn. I want my one mic. on flag though for the for the cap. That was important. Usually too. when you go yeah, over VODs and someone makes a mistake, like, you'll be like, oh, shit, my bad. I should have done this. This kid just starts dying laughing. Like it's, <laughs> what? Like it's, like it's funny. Like, That's a, that, I find that hilarious. No, so. dude, we Wait, because I know I mess up. I've been playing COD dude, for a long was, time. When <laughs> I mess up, I know I mess up. And I'm, right when I do it, I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Dude, he was laid on the floor in front of us. We're all sitting on the couch like this. He just looks up and goes, ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's a good thing. So it seems like you guys are like, as a team watching VOD every night. Oh, yeah. A lot of teams aren't doing that, bro. We're actually like, scheduled right after we're done here to go watch some VOD. We got a big day. Big, we're doing we're doing big this day one for the people. Big day tomorrow. It's uh, it's like twelve. It's twelve thirty. So you guys took we're some time. Gonna out go to back, be, get some skinny yeah. pop, some waters. Oh, gonna get yeah. some, gonna get some snackage. He put me on skinny pop. Watch bro. some vod. Bro, this shit's fire. Mike, Mike, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I put everybody on. Skinny I gotta pop. teach all the gamers to hold the mic up to their face. Bro, the cinnamon clusters from skinny pop. Oh, all right, so for Crim and Seth, okay. oh, usually at this time, your team is the most beatable in this part of the year. Like at this time, people start to like beat you guys. You lose full, you stop playing other games, and you, like, get better. So how is it, like, to, like, within the last, like, two years it's been like that, not to be beatable at the, well, like, the most beatable at this point in the game? Like, you, you're, you're actually getting better right now. It has yeah. to be, like, a pretty good feeling. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, uh, it's a good time to be good. Um, I think, you know, the, the whole entire year has gone by, and I think, at, like, event after event after event, it's just been, like, just not not even frustration but like just at like disappointment it, it, well no it's like an addition to your, your like drive that you have yeah and i mean like i'm sitting here getting on and just playing pubs just for fun even though i'm like like is this making me better i don't even know but i just want to play Maybe. i just want to you know what i mean like try to improve and yeah yeah and, and like if you're going to sit there and win tournaments like you might not necessarily put in that extra hour to a night you know, playing a new DLC map or, or playing Nuketown, you know, or not Nuketown, uh, Shipment. Yeah. Uh, but it's just like, uh, I don't know, this year's a lot, you, like, you know, like you said, it's a lot different than any of the other years. Oh, yeah, it's way different. Like, especially at this stage of the game for you guys. Like, I think last year, like, your team was winning around this time, right, Sam? And then, yeah, like, stage one Anaheim, the year so. before that, um, Envy started to win. <laughs> so, yeah, like, usually you guys start off the game really hot and then – you end it pretty strong. So, like, this is, like, a weird time where... that's nah, not true. In our old team, we'd lose the first two, win the next three. Well, the, in the beginning of the, the year, though... One. All right, IW, when was yeah, ESWC? We won any this year. When no, was yeah, ESWC and IW? Huh? When was ESWC and IW? Uh, February? Like, halfway through the year. It was, like, I think it was right before... No, nah, it was it was so February, like March. Start. Was it? No, yeah. It was, I thought it was, like, I would consider through. ESWC the start of the it year. It was the start of the year for sure. There, there was There was, there PS was two opens before... No, there were two opens before, I think. Atlanta. Yeah, but Atlanta was a week before. Yeah. You got to so, you got to put those two together. So what events did you guys win in the beginning of IW? Uh ESWC. ESWC in Dallas. Dallas would be like middle. Okay. Dallas, so you guys Dallas were Dallas was a month and a half after ESWC. Okay. We and Black Ops 3, Black weeks. Ops 3 you guys were good in the beginning as well. I mean, I feel like just towards the beginning usually like you guys have had a tournament win by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't have one this time. <laughs> yeah. You have like five, that five, second five, place. Nine. So it's just different. It's yeah. weird. So, I mean, I guess it's really no different, like, when you're a competitor. From from the outside looking in, though, it feels like the scene is, like, it's weird not seeing you guys have a championship by now. Um, but Shitters. next question. What's the difference from, like, all your guys' old teams to this one? Like, the major difference. We'll start with Sam and, and, and Zinni. Zinni, you can kind of pioneer this one. Like, what's the difference between Rise and this team? Like, you were on a championship team before. You got, you got released. Yeah. How does it feel to be on, like, another team that you think is a championship team? I think this team's like more talented. Like obviously these two, I don't want to gas them because they're so annoying. But like, they're really good. Obviously, like they're legends. And like my my old my old team's really good. like like my old team is really good. But like we sort of like when we started ar like when we started arguing like with Danny and Pierce like we got into some pretty bad arguments. And mm -hmm. I feel like like I guess I was scapegoated on that team. Like that's how I felt. But I, I guess mean, in a, I guess in a sense probably. it'd probably be the same here. Like if, if I'm being honest, I I think. I mean, it could be honeymoon, but I mean, I wouldn't even say it. We just have like, a lot of fun here. Like, I've known this kid forever. Like, I, I sunned him, brought him into the scene. Sunned. Like, this guy didn't like Deadpool 2, so he's a little weird. But like. I didn't like Deadpool 2. <laughs> I didn't like it either. You guys want to take a brief, like, interruption and talk about it? That movie was just it's Trash, incredibly no, average. It was so good. It was better I than, literally it was, it was, was better like than the first one. falling asleep. I saw the, fir the first watch through was amazing. The second one, I wanted to I was falling asleep first time. Bro, no, like... I love the first. No one spoilers. Too. The ending sequence was like, other than the credit scene, which was brilliant. The ending sequence was awful. I thought the we whole talked movie about was this. garbage, but yeah, it was pretty garbage. But back to <laughs> my yeah. opinion has been. I mean, sweet. it's like there's just like, it's <laughs> like the best <laughs> I've ever been on. To be honest, like it's already it's pretty night. And Three day. matches in. I mean, like everybody's like my age screwed me forever. Like yeah, every, like, I would always build up to, like a really good team, like phase with like me, J Cap, replays, classic teams like that. You get stripped away from and you, and then just drop because of my age, and I had nothing to do with it. And now it's just like. It's weird because, like, I took my, like, 
break to lose weight and go to prom and stuff to enjoy high school. And like, and like in my mind, don't get me started on Scott's prom. And like in my mind, it's just like, I didn't know it'd be this hard to like get back to where I am now. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing podcasts on the desk. It's pretty hard to get back in yeah, the scene. Yeah, so like, and like, <laughs> but like, I didn't think that way. Like, I didn't think it was that hard. Like, I, I came back and I hit like people up, like Cap and people like, yo, let's team. And they're just like, we can't. And I'm just like, <laughs> Zen, dude. It's, it's Big Z. Come on. Pick me back up. <laughs> like, <laughs> So, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, like, extremely grateful because, like, when I first got into it, like, it was way easier to go pro back when I think I went pro. 100% like, and, easier. And I had, like, yeah. a lot of help. Like, him. Like, no one really had people like that to, like, sun them. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the only time I'll ever say that in my life. <laughs> Wait, you're saying you got sunned? Yeah, that's you so, did. That's right. That's the only time I ever said that in my life. Yeah, that's right. And it's just, like, wait, wait, the I went through, like, a come up, then, Don't like, even a say severe it, come down. Don't longer. even say it. Seth or Nate Shot? Who's the better definitely dad? Nate. Seth or Nate? That's Def- what he asked. Definitely Nate. What do you no. mean definitely? Bose is, I sunned Bose. I placed pro with Bose. Me and him like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I beat you with yeah. Bose. Me and Bose are brothers. Bose. Him and Nate. <laughs> Who's That's your weird. daddy? That's pretty weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 2018, bro. That's Stumpy's his daddy. No but dude. like, I think that's a good thing what you said in the beginning of that, uh, your little spiel. You said that these guys are legends. Like, I'm happy to team with them. Yeah. I think that's a big deal when you pick up players. Like, say you're, if I'm Krim and I'm Seth and I pick up new players, like, I want them to be happy to play with me. I think that changes the whole vibe on a team. Like, when players on your team are, like, actually happy to play with you, it makes you play better. Like, especially you, because you haven't played in a while and you come back, you win, you get dropped, you're like, dang, nobody appreciates me. And then they pick you up. It's probably just making, like, the whole vibe a lot well, better. Like, so everybody thought, like, oh, I got dropped from Rise, you me. I was like, well, I'm screwed. Like, I'm not going to win again this year. And, like, now I'm, like, so happy. I, I thought dropped. you were screwed, bro. When I you joined TK, I'm like, Top six team. Dude, my, my TK team they was good. That bad. No, my TK team was good. No, Wait, what I meant by that was like throughout the rest of the year. Team. Top No, top, top six team. Oh, I thought no. I thought I was like, Come on. wow, yeah, you're throwing way down there. <laughs> we I watched good. too much COD to, like, to like, oh my Don't get me wrong. Like I don't think my TK team was as good as my Rise team, but my TK team was good. But like You guys were solid, yeah. Now it's like, thank God I got dropped, bro. Like yeah. like my parents were pissed. They were like, You won MVP. You suck. They're like, how'd you get dropped? And now they're like, Let's go. So I don't know. What about you, Sam? What did did your dad say? My dad didn't like at first. I mean, he knows optics, so like at first, like that's something like it. Like that's something like every yeah. Like that's something like every. We we heard uh, Zen tell his dad in the background. That's like something like every pro. Like no, when 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 Zen told uh, his dad that he's on optic now. Well, because like my dad and pa- like my parents like followed it, but like not as much as they did now. And like all they'd hear is like, "Oh, optic won again. Optic yeah. won again. Seth won again." And now it's like you're joining optic. Like what? That's now crazy. It's, it's like they're extremely happy, and it's like I don't know. It's still crazy. My dad brought up being a fan of the Green Wall, and he was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> "Oh yeah, he probably hated the Green Wall for a while." Because <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I'm like the meme I tweeted today, years. son. Yeah. Getting oh smoked. God, when did optic play? <laughs> Getting smoked. <laughs> the Green oh, Wall no, probably used to. The, your new fans probably used to hate you. They like hate probably, me. yeah. They love me then. Wait, oh yeah, the whole like blacklist thing. Blacklist. Right, we'll, we'll edit it out. Blacklist. We'll edit it out. <laughs> cut, cut, uh, cut. <laughs> but how is it, Sam? Like leaving like people you teamed with forever, joining a new team. Like that's it's almost like them. Like you're on that. You team with Slack for as long as they were a team almost. So yeah, it's, well, a year, a year less. <laughs> <laughs> you <just see> <laughs> oh my god! Nah, um, Are you hexing us? This Live? You guys have been hexing your team all year. Stop doing that. Yeah, bro. we've been trying our no, best no, not I, to. I, I just made, no, you yeah, got to cut. You got to cut. <laughs> yeah, we've been running. We've been running. No, wait. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm cutting it. No, but me and Sam have been ripping Jerry jokes. Oh. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, we know Jerry's just saying stuff. Let's limit the amount of things I have to cut so my job doesn't get that hard. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Sam. No, but uh, it's, been, it's been good. Teaming with Seth and Ian is – um. It's like refreshing almost. Yeah, Timo with Seth and Ian, I agree. What about Zen? I don't care about Zen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, obviously not. Shit. We, I think it was like the conversation we that like brought full circle because you know like obviously he brought me up or whatever. I'm not gonna gas him. But then like three years him. later, shut up. Three years later, we end up on optic together. So it's just like that's life dope, truly dude. Is like full circle, but simulation. Yeah, that's pretty good. But um, I don't know. Leave. I got a lot of flack for leaving my old team. And a lot of people call me kind of stupid for it, but I think that the skill ceiling of this team is miles. Fans miles called miles you one. stupid. Yeah, there's no way. How, yes. that, how is that stupid? I mean, Johnny. I guess you want to check, like, but yeah, it's just like the consistency think, of our old team. Well, I think it's really good. Like this is the first time, and I think. Well, I don't know about your career, Seth, but this is like the first time in my career where I've like teamed with you know the young guns. 
right? This like, he's not a young gun, but he is. Yeah, sure. Wait, aren't you guys like the same age? Both the Sam's same been age. playing for. Doesn't matter. I've been playing for three years. Dude, 20, 20 right now is like the low end of yeah, COD pros. That's true. Yeah, we're getting old, bro. I'm, well, I dude, well, this dude month. You see the Seth was the young gun for years. He's an old man now. Twenty three now, bro. So did you did you see the average age of like CS pros? What is it? It's like twenty seven point. Or it's like 27.6. I'm making the comeback. Or 26.7. It's one, <laughs> it's one of those. But it, either way, it's high. But, I mean, either way, it's like the good thing is that right now, World War II is like a really AR heavy game. Like if your ARs are like the the, the, the fry men almost. Fry men. And, you know, the young you guns coming in. And then, yeah, me, me and Seth just making, uh, you know, routine long fundamental route. plays. Long, long, route. long routes. Dude, that like is so to secure the game. Bro, that is so weirdly backwards. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know. I, I know. Rocks, but, 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 you know what works, I mean? Like, you perfectly. two are the slow, rocks, methodical ARs holding shit oh. down. Yeah, usually, and they're the two, like, yeah, usually, cracked out subs. Yeah, usually it's like what? the... You gotta let me flock, bro. I'm a it guy. works better, bro. Yeah. It's, it's easier to fly. control, like, an AR than it is a sub. Yep. So, yeah. That's weird, bro. I I never really thought about it like that. Maybe that's why you guys are working so well. Yeah. Well, sure. I, no, I thought yeah, I've been thinking about free. it for like the past week. I was like, Crazy. like this is good. Whose well, idea was it primarily to like make this roster change like this like as dramatic like dropping two people, picking up two well, ARs, like disregard what, what the fans are saying. I Our mean, like team didn't work, and we just need a new player. Well, can we? Okay. Shit, I don't that's know fine. If I want to talk about that. Hey, you don't have to. We'll move to the next topic. Sensitive okay. topic. Move to the next one. Yeah, All right. <laughs> All right, um, shot, shot. Sam and Zinni, are you guys nervous about the shoes that you have to fill? Say you go to COD Champs this year, right? Are you going to be nervous about, like, having to, like, fill those shoes of, like, formal, formals MVP, reigning champs? You're defending the land, bro. Like, you're defending the land, like, Damon, three-time champion. You're filling shoes with somebody who won three world championships and somebody who got MVP. It's a lot of pressure, and when I say it, it even sounds, like, more insane. Yeah. But, like, how does it feel, like, the, the fans are going to be expecting you to, like, do that you know what i mean yeah no i mean i touched it like i touched it on my vision like i think we both know whose like roles we're filling and it's yeah. obviously like big shoes to fill we just got to play and win like i can't like don't get me wrong you can't even I, think about that I, i've had more pressure you can't on know. this team than like any team ever and i think that would be for any person filling the, the shoes of damon and matt it just like it's got to zone it out and like i don't know i try to like put it like the simplest form or just like i'm playing a video game against four human beings like i'm just gonna go out there and play video games game. does it make you play like, better I, th I mean it's been working so far this year like, 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 this, like this year what, what did you what did he say 3.57 SNDK is that real a beast. yeah I played three okay. maps bro you can't count beast. that but like <laughs> noted. I don't know I mean to be honest I can't even touch on that because like we haven't played like an open event yet with like, the, like the, the fans going nuts so like we'll see I don't think I mean I've never been really affected so, by that like, let me personally. give you a hypothetical Zin Let's say you go to Anaheim, right? It's yeah. coming up in two weeks. And you fall in finals to any said team, right? Yeah. And you start getting – you you have a bad finals performance. You have a good tournament. You have a bad finals performance. Like, are you prepared to deal with that, like, pressure and, like, what people are going to say and stuff like that? Like, are you Have you mentally prepared for it? Oh, yeah. I mean, dude, yeah, like, when I first was accepting the offer and, like, we we're going to announce it, I was, like, so stressed. I was just, like – this is about to be way like because it's an offer you have to say yeah to. Oh, I mean, I had, how can you say no? Mm -hmm. And it's just like in my in my opinion, like the way, like the way I looked at it, it was like the fans are about to destroy me. Like you're replacing them with him, but it was the exact opposite. Like they've been incredible so far. This guy was stressing. And, and don't get me moment. wrong, like really, yeah. I mean, well, like because uh, I've had a, a long experience with the Green Wall. You know, like I started off really close with him, Hector, Nate, and everybody. And then that bullshit happened, and then, you know what I mean? I started getting a lot mm -hmm. of hate. And now it's just like, I'm here, and I got to make the best of it. And it's just like, I'm ready for hate if, if it comes that way. I think we can beat any team in the game, but I don't think that we're consistently the best yet. So, like, we're still working on that. Anaheim is really close. So, it's just like, we're obviously going to do our best to win that. But at the end of the day, it's not easy to win a tournament. True. You know what I mean? True. Well yeah. said, Zin. Like we want to win. Said like a veteran. Like brother, like, we want to win, but like champs is the big I one. I think I think the fans is it's really weird. The fans this year have been like really good. I don't know about you, Seth. Like your mentions and stuff, but you probably don't. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he doesn't check that shit, man. No, but it's uh, too many too many years of Yeah, no. Him. I mean I mean I don't blame him. Like after you lose a tournament, I don't really check it like that day or the next day, but I might like you know what I mean. 
It's like a sports fan. No, I know what you mean. I mean, I check it over time. Well, it's. I think it comes down to expectations. Like, like on the old the old roster, they just expect us to win every single thing, like every single tournament, every single league match, every Mm -hmm. single like everything, and pretty much like. I don't know if they got used to the disappointment with the old roster on this game, but they, but but, but they wait they they didn't roast us that bad, not not compared to like losing an AW. To oh, phase. that was the, you had a microscope on you in AW. To, yeah, in my in, in AW when we got to finals at thirteen out of fourteen tournaments. That's insane. When we lost Jeez, and we got second, we got obliterated. Like that's that's when I remember it being the worst, and, and in like uh, Black Ops Three. But 13 out of 14, I don't even know that. Yeah, champs was the only one that stings. Yeah, but pretty much like when we would get second to like phase in AW, like we we just got like Clacers, your dad, you know, what I mean? <laughs> can't beat attach, you know, hey, just shit, just shit like that. <laughs> this guy's insane, bro. <laughs> wait, you don't wait. Hold on, Seth definitely remembers this too. Clacers, your dad. Just, those. just, I'm, I just, I literally just made that up. I literally just made that up right now. Yeah, so. I bet. <laughs> That's a good one, bro. Oh, well, you're, you're annoying. You know, somebody probably yeah. tweeted Slasher that after this last match. Well it's, well, it's just stuff like that. But, but in this game, World War II, there hasn't been any expectations. Okay. To, to after, you know, losing, what, three or four? Pe- people were like, yeah, at season one, when we actually did pretty well, everyone was like, shit, son. Like they're actually they might win they might win this one. <laughs> Two best and then uh, it's like uh, uh, let attach, attach ran through an artillery strike. So that's tough. What can you do? Do you want to well, watch on, watch on, your on back? This? The pressure. Seth, watch your back on, on Seth or Zinni. Well, I mean Seth doesn't have the answer really because he's been in that situation countless yeah. times. But for you, how is it? I don't. It's not that with bad. The I'm not really like a pressure. I don't really think about it. Yeah, I feel like your type of person yeah, is just like doesn't affect you. You're but just I, a like, weirdo. In terms of like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, in terms of like stepping into Matt's shoes, I don't view it as that. I view it as like my own start. I don't want to think of myself as like chapter one trying to be Matt. I would yeah. rather try to be myself. Wait, who's filling Matt's shoes and who's filling Damon's shoes? I guess I would be Matt. Bad qu- bad answer. You're filling no one's shoes. You have your own Trick shoes. Question. Trick just, question, man. I just played You're myself. not prepared. You're not prepared I'm for the pressure if you answer goat. like that. I just played myself. <laughs> I'm down. No, but I don't know. It's I've been one A and one B with Matt for I would say my whole career, other than like the beginning of AW, and I I don't really want to step into his shoes. I want to do my own thing, really. Good, dude. Like like you said, like we've been playing for a while. Like I was on phase at 14 years old, 15 years yeah. old. So like I've like pressure is like something I feel like every pro has to like. It's like a part of the game. Like if like if you're bad under pressure, like. How are you a pro? You know what I mean? Like, you're playing in front of thousands of fans. It's just like, I don't know. But this is the first team where it's like a sports fan base. Well, you're, play, you're playing in front of like a, almost like a different audience than, yeah. than some other players. Like, for example, if I'm still playing, there's like, there's way less pressure on me yeah. to play well than there is for you. Just yeah. from like outside influences. But like, I feel like it wouldn't really affect. I feel like it shouldn't affect you just because, like, you don't really think about Like, when you get on the stage, you don't think about, like, the fans, really. Yeah, no, until the it, outcome. Are there any players that are, like, genuinely, like, shaking? Like, oh, my God, I'm playing in front of so many people. Yeah. Because, like, when I, pl- I sit down, I just zone in. I don't think about yeah, yeah. anything. Like After that. the match, you think about the fans because of, like, yeah. the outcome. But during the match and when you're there on was, stage, there like, was one time you're not thinking about Birmingham, that. Birmingham, when they were just going crazy, I was thinking. That was actually wild. That was oh, ridiculous. Yeah. That was wild. The Europeans were crazy. That was ridiculous. It's because they were all absolutely wasted. They were just, and oh. Bro, the Europeans were there cracking his ass up. He was leading it on. Yeah, we lost, and Seth went straight to the beer stand, man. <laughs> <laughs> the beer, the beer. He's like, he's like, man. He's this, clean now, he's bro. Like, the he's bottle, like, dude, bro. this beer, it, this beer is so weak or like so light. He, I think he, I think he had like, I think I saw him with like six different beers that night, bro. On on Sunday. And I think we got yeah. four. Didn't we get like fourth that tournament? Yeah. How did you get drunk? He got drunk before the finals even started. <laughs> <laughs> the bottle, bro. All right. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not just gonna sit there and piss. That was a tough. We'll All right. No we were in Birmingham. Well, oh, that event was Birmingham. wild, bro. Where People were Birmingham? actually like the fan base in Europe is like older than I feel like the NA fan base oh, is. Way, dude, they're, bro. they're amazing. Bro, I met some people that were talking to me about like COD 2, like 06, like GB forms. It's like, dang, dude. That's, that's, that's just shit. crazy. They were doing soccer chants, bro. <laughs> hmm? they, were, they were doing soccer chants. Oh, yeah. Benson's in the crowd screaming with them, drinking beers. <laughs> you were wasted. <laughs> You were hammered. Benson was hammered. Yeah, he made it lit though. I that even, picture I, is dude, iconic. 
of him in the crowd with the, the fans. I didn't know it was him at first. And I was like, is that band? He's going nuts. Like, what's <laughs> wrong with this guy? All right. Um, another question. Uh, kind of going to talk to Krim and Seth a little bit more about this. Um, you guys haven't been making as much content anymore. Um, is that phase like kind of a little bit past you? Or like, why aren't, why aren't you guys like making you as many YouTube videos and content? Do you just not enjoy it? Like, what's the deal there? Let's hear it, son. You, you go uh, first. Because you were, you were, you were upholding like every day. There was a time where. I'm an idiot. Oh, um, let, let's, let's forget the name calling idiot. Like you should be uploading. You make so much money uploading. Let's forget that. Let's just talk about the pure enjoyment of it. Because there was a time where I would talk to you in the mumble and you would just be like, I'm pumping right now. I just dropped 80, like talking about like camo, stuff like that. Like what happened to that drive? I don't know. This game sort of just bores me pub wise. Okay. Uh, the other games, at least there were like cool things to do. Like I would like the way the prestige emblems look or like I was just a super nerd like that or like the camos you were saying. But like this game, there's no enjoyable camos. They still haven't added a single I, yeah. enjoyable camo. Um, the pubs, like the score streaks are meh. What are you laughing at? It's all about his cam. Though, what? I'm just like, wait, no, that I makes agree. a big difference, bro. Yeah, Those little things. It's just not, it's just pubs in this game are nowhere near as enjoyable. Yeah. And I mean, that's just how it is. Like, have you, t- have I'd you... rather play Fortnite on console and upload that than play Call of Duty pubs. Right so now. up until this point, have you like talked to like the fans about like what's up with like the YouTube videos? Like, cause I feel like they're like, why, why isn't Seth like uploading 80, Not 80 bombs anymore? Really? I've like, I've probably responded to a few people on Twitter, but like, obviously that doesn't reach the mass fan base. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't really talk about it. It's just a mix of like being lazy, uh, have been doing it for so long. Cause like people underestimate I've been doing COD. I've been, I've been a pro and a content creator for like seven years now. And it, it's like a thing. So where, like, that's a lot to take on, but, yeah. uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to start uploading soon again. I think that there's been a lot more pressure on me, especially this year, because we haven't been winning as well. Yeah. It's so like other years, if I wanted to play another game, it wouldn't matter because we would be winning and people wouldn't yeah. really give a fuck if what I played. True. Yeah. But now it's like we're losing. So if I want to play Fortnite, I posted a couple Fortnite videos and then we lost an event and people just scapegoated me like you, you're the reason why we lost. That's so it's annoying like, too. That's really annoying to me. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. It's just... Uh, I constant like, cycle of being I feel you on that, that before yeah. before you go because like uh you got to enjoy what you're doing like if you're uploading stuff and if when you upload something if they're gonna like complain like oh you you did this you played this game that's why you lost it can kind of like create this like toxic bubble where you're like well I'm just not gonna upload anything then if I don't like the game can't upload anything else so I kind of understand where he's coming from but I I just feel like the last like two years people just haven't really wanted to watch like like uh, YouTube videos and in, in terms of like pubs on on these games like IW pubs, uh, you know World War Two pubs they're just kind of. But that comes down to it being enjoyable. Yeah, I know. Well, 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 people exa- would well, people exactly, want to well, watch. Well, 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 listen, we're on the same boat, right? As as pub players, if I'm playing pubs and I want to upload pubs, if someone is watching it and they don't enjoy pubs, they're not going to watch it. Yeah, also, you know what I mean. The, at the end of the day, well, it, no, no, it, no, 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 not necessarily because people want to watch him regardless of what he's playing. Oh yeah, well yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, I agree with that. But at the end of the day, mm-hmm. Seth's not gonna want to. Yeah. You know, he's not gonna want to do that. Like, That's true. And, also, uh, go ahead. Sorry. And, and I think another thing too is like priorities and just it's it's really hard. I think did we talk about this? How hard I mean, it is to upload talk about this to day? upload a video at like like. Each everyone here has like priorities, right? You want to like say you have to upload a video. You have to upload a video every single day. You have to scrim. So that right there, like those two things, is what like six to seven hours. You wake nah. up, you go to bed that night thinking about that. Your videos day. are different. Yeah, you're Maybe in like a niche. You, you can join a pub for fifteen minutes, fry in one pub. And just you are so funny, you could do it in one map. Well, I spent three days like getting ready for stuff like yeah. this, so it's like it's it's like different, like yeah, like for content, like it's different levels. Like you, well, dude, well, dude ma- okay, making a montage like a clips from like Twitch and stuff like that. Yeah, that's easy. if you try to do that, yeah, but it takes like three no, hours. You can hire somebody to do that though. Yeah, I've thought yeah, about but, that. But at the end, I don't want to hire someone. I mean, you, well, you could do it off Twitch if you're streaming a lot. Yeah, but but if you actually want to make like a montage from like scrims or something like that. And like, like I, I think that might be the only thing that's like acceptable is that like from scrims. Yeah. It's to upload a montage of like three pieces, you know, four pieces, stuff like that. It's but, just hard, but, but it's a pain in the ass to do for like, you know, very minimal views because at the end of the day, people don't really, you know, they like Black Ops 3 more than this. Black Ops 3 
is still m- played more than this game right Dude, now. I don't I know if you guys game, know that. Well, yeah, stream I is w. popping. All, all I W last year, all I uploaded was Black Ops 3. Dude, yeah. like and your YouTube was popping, bro. And my yeah. channel was doing like better. Like I would literally get double the views, Black Ops 3 to IW. Yep. It's because you're having fun when you play that game, but too. Another, uh, also, a couple more points I wanted to make about that. Um, I'll just make it quick because obviously we want to. But A, no, take your time. Uh, the lack of being able to stream scrims hurts uh the cod community Bad. went a wall this year for some reason and everyone yeah. more like last year everyone like it was weird it, it was like one day everyone just decided like everyone is done streaming scrims <laughs> yeah. like it was so weird because yeah, like it came out of nowhere everyone just stopped streaming first it started we with the mini map, no comms all that stuff and then everyone just followed it so that i mean that's just that's free content like if you want to stream scrims you have fans of your team they can come by and watch your practice but now that's not a thing and then B, um, I think the skill gap in this game makes it also harder for pubs because even if the kid is literally terrible, like doesn't know what he's doing, he can still get kills on you because this game is just so point it's and shoot slow. easy. Yeah, it's like if he has a better position, he wins. So it's like trying to run around the map and like just snap onto people. It's a lot harder, so that just makes it less enjoyable too because there's so many power positions now. I never even thought about that. And really. if I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a sub player, so in this game, obviously ARs are 20 times better than subs, so <laughs> that as well. Like, if, do I want to use an AR in pubs and then have to come to competitive and use a sub? It's True. like there's, a, there's so many different factors about this game. It's like – Well, I think in a financial standpoint, it doesn't make, like, any sense for anyone to stream scrims except for maybe, like – Seth, me, or shit, anyone else? Clayster, like Clayster, yeah, maybe formal, yeah, Clay, Damon, formal. Like, there's a whole bunch of people that could have streamed scrims and yeah. done well for themselves. Getting yeah, but at the end of the day, you got to look at the prize pool over the year. Is what? How much? Four is million. It? Yeah, it's like four million. But you're not gonna win all that. It's yeah, but. Yeah, I, I, my I, argument to his point is like for somebody like me, yeah, well, yeah. I wish I would have streamed since day one of the game because like my stream's doing okay now. Like I, I got to a point where it's yeah. like doing okay, but like if I was streaming since the beginning of the game, yeah. when I got released, I could have had a foundation to build upon. Well, it's just like it's just short term versus long term term thinking. Yeah, that's, I mean that, that's all it really is. I mean, the thing is like no, and and I'm pretty sure I can speak for like every pro player here, uh, and all on all the other teams. Like no one knows what team people are going to be on like or the, what teams are going to be on like after a certain or before a roster lock right yeah so after what this roster lock hit everyone knows they're going to be on that team for three events but the thing is champs is coming up so no one wants to reveal anything so yep. it's just like the setup is is a little bit odd in terms of uh content yeah content well like i can guarantee you that content it's probably the last thing on these players minds and another thing is if you're not streaming scrims i feel like content is an in, it's a it's a job like it's like yeah a, you're not getting on and playing rank play like, yeah exactly. oh yeah exactly. i do exactly okay you do because you just joined out yeah but the thing is <laughs> all right for real <laughs> how know, much free up. time no, have you truly off. had while nah. trying to build your stream bro i wake up i have like a pretty bad sleep schedule I wake up like 1 p.m i eat go to the gym try to get my stream by like 2 30 stream till scrim scrim turn my stream live immediately after go to bed repeat three days four days in a row that that fifth day you wake up one day, even though you it's love so, streaming, I mean, you're, you're like, it's like, dude, I low-key don't want to stream today. Tell me that doesn't happen. You're, but you're fucked from right there. Like, literally. Going, you're fucking making ninja money. Yeah. You're, you're like, done well, like, right there. Going a little backwards, like you're like dude, comparing like, so true. And the, like the past few years, like streaming scrims is like everybody did it. COD players get paid a lot now. Like back then, like you were streaming because like you had to make money to support yourself. Yep. Like now, yeah. like like now, you really don't have to stream. That to is make a fact. A good amount of money. Like it's like it's it's crazy now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like two years ago, like you're streaming grinding because you have to make money, and now it's just like all that money. You, like you're making way more money now than you would have streaming back then. Oh yeah, because I mean I'll touch on it. You guys probably can't, but there's a lot of contracts where people get paid extra if they put an amount of hours of streaming. And like personally, uh, my contract had that when I was on EG and I would like sometimes it was like a hundred hours. You get a bonus, whatever. I won't say the amount. And like, since we were getting paid like a decent amount, there was months where I'm like, dude, I'm not streaming a hundred hours this month. Like, no way. Like, That's like hard, I'm, though. yeah, like I'm That's chilling. Like we, I just scrimmed schedule. six hours. Like if I want to hit a hundred by the end of this month, I have to do a four hour shift, five hour shift tonight. It is impossible to hit a quota for streaming hours in this game. Facts. Impossible. Literally impossible. I was like, going. I've been gone four months this year. How am I going to stream? Wow, this? we have been gone for a while. How am and I like, going to stream? We leave on Wednesdays dead. now. 
tournaments and wagers are dead. Like usually, like you can play yeah, stuff late you night. Play pubs you have to or stream, eights. bro. It's pubs eights. eights. Those have are your to options. Drive to play ranked play or sacrifice your practice stream scrims. Three play things. Fortnite. Or play. <laughs> no, I can play COD, but I, I gotta play competitive. T- so like, I've been playing Search and Destroy tournaments lately. It's been pretty fun. Like Search and Destroy, tournaments, they've been pretty. I've been playing with Rally. How you been playing them? Yeah, I've been playing you them. People playing them. I'm playing like yes. Black Ops Three ones. No, I played. I played World uh, War Two. Yeah, I was watching. I was no, no, no. I played a World War Two one the other day with Naga and Rally, and we won it. Like and there was like fourteen teams. I had a, a great time. Like that was like one time, but. I don't know. Apparently, search and destroy uh, scene is like reviving it's right like now. Sad. Like, bro, I mean, no, I, seriously. I think apparently. of back then, like, bro, there was like 60, 128 teams, so like, yeah, playing for like a bunch of money, like premium tournaments. Like, it's different now, dude. Like, I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, we talked about content for a while right there. So, all your guys' questions about that. We usually don't talk about that type of stuff, like pros. Like, we, we never talk about yeah. that. So, really? that was, no. it's because it's so touchy to the fans. If you bring up streaming scrims, I, bro, we stream scrims twice, and every time I turn my stream on, you I streaming stream scrims on. today? You oh, streaming scrims yeah. today, Sam? You, you'll get to. Why did? Wait, he could have. Who you streaming, Sam? He could have. He could have. Oh, there's the pro league today. Oh, we're going over search <laughs> today. Fuck like, you guys. <laughs> they got their chances. I wanted to stream so Your bad. stream would have been popping, bro. Dude, what, at 25K? Twenty-five K for shrimp, bro. I had thirteen. That's the most I ever had. Let me see, let him see the mic. Let me see the mic. When I was in California, my internet was bad. That's all I want to say. So like, I literally couldn't stream. Oh yeah, I remember that. I that literally was... could not stream. And you had like a, a shitty setup, so I was like, hard to. The stream. setup was fine. Just the internet was. You were sharing your setup. Terrible. No. Yeah, there was a time you were sharing a setup. There was a time when I was looking for my house, <laughs> hey, but can, that's can like we talk about. That's a year ago. Seth, can I can I tell the people what you did? With the modem, the modem to a router to <laughs> another router. Well, Wait, sure I that. had the setup so, perfectly fine. No, you you fucked up. We're not gonna waste time with this. This is so <laughs> stupid. So he took. Is it recording? Yeah. It was so he took the wall plug to a modem to a router. You know, the router has that one yellow port. Yep. That goes straight to the modem. Yeah. And then he took an Ethernet from the one of the four split ports, right? Or like where you you put yep, Ethernet's okay. out, and he took one of the Ethernet's and put to, it into another router in which another you can. room. We tried to bridge it. That. Yeah. <laughs> can you not I get do it. that? No. <laughs> I, get, <laughs> I get it in theory. Best time I might have. your work. Internet's going to that one now. <laughs> <laughs> I might have tried that before. That I won't that, lie. That doesn't make me stupid. That's that makes tr- me smart. <laughs> no, that's a trial. Bro, bro, at least work. I will give you points for like creativity on that one. But what do you just, mean? Like, it's just funny. What do you mean? It's just, All right, yo. <laughs> let's work. transition, my bros. We're gonna transition into a Call of Duty topic now. The top ten players of all time. Oh. So th- this 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 gets really. <laughs> so like, you think this would be pretty easy to answer? It's pretty easy for like one through six, seven. Then it gets really hard, bro. You think it's easy? So like, I have like a list here, right? And uh, it's in order and. First? And uh, you said it was easy, so I, 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 I'm not a, I'm not a hypocrite. So I, before I actually put a lot of thought into it, I had Krim as number one, right? Like undoubted number one. I put a lot of thought into it. And like my thing about goat is like greatness. So right now I have Damon as number one, simply because of black ops two is like such yeah. a leg- legendary tournament win. And like that whole stint he went on, that's like, he has an entire like little like legacy thing for, from that. So I have Damon one, Krim two, Scump three, uh, formal J cap clay aches TP, um, attach, and then I have question marks next to these three because it's really hard for me to decide. And I have apathy, Merc, and Rambo because, like, I don't know where to put those. Like, it's, it gets so difficult. Has to be in. He has to be, right? He, I mean, yeah, he has to be. So, like, if you guys were to give me, all right, let's start with your top five and then we'll go six to ten after. So, Zinni, you, you're itching to talk. What, what do you think? I mean, are we doing like Best or like This is a goat list Let's say if COD just exploded right now Dead right yeah. Everybody we're doing a hall of fame Who's your top 10 We'll do one through five first Go Krim Winning his player of all time Damon Him Cap Cap formal That's my five That's my five as well But like if we're talking about like goat Like Nate Shot's top five for me. Well, my Call thing Duty. is, here. let me say this before you guys say the rest of your list. When you talk about GOAT and, like, a GOAT list, you factor in everything. Championships, 
the way they got their championships. So, like, for example, let's use Cap and Formal, right? Yeah. Cap has an extra world championship. Formal has more actual championships. And the way Formal won a lot of those championships was because he went the hell off. Yeah. So how do you weigh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Wait, can we, can we all agree that's the top five, though? Yeah, I agree that's top yeah. five. Do that's my top agree? five, yeah. I think yeah, Formal I and Cap are, like, interchangeable. But, like, Cap's been doing it since. I think. Like, Cap was there since COD was, like, MW2. But is that was more playing. impressive that Formal came in later and did what he did in that amount of time? Because you, you kind of add to my argument at that point. You know what I'm saying? Man, yeah, no, I definitely, eh. It's hard. It's I don't really like, know because he was on the greatest COD team of all time. If you really – oh, that's another factor. So if you really think about it, it's tough. Because all of their yeah. championships go together. I, 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 not not Ian's I, as much, but, like, the majority of their championships go together. I would say that me and me and Damon are interchangeable at yeah. one and two. Seth's number I agree. three. And then – Cap and Matt. And Cap and Matt are debatable. Yeah. Same thing. But, yeah. but 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 I think that's uncontested top five right there. That is the uncontested yeah. top five. Like, if that is, is not your top five in uh, any sort of order, like you're just, I don't know. You think the next, so we all agree the top five? Say, I don't even next know. Three, say next three is easy. <laughs> Who's the next three then? I mean, Clay, Pat, Teep. Actually, yeah, that is pretty easy. <laughs> Those are that's the next mine. three. I, yeah. yeah, that's easy. Do you, well, I guess Clay has that whole phase I mean, yours was your list was pretty spot on. Wait, does part. Pat or would Pat and Teep be above Clay? Should they? Should they? Or should Clay be above them? If I had to put them in X order, X Games Metal. I would put I would put Pat Clay Teep. Why? Pat okay. has way more championships than Clay. Pat's like, like Pat's been around for a while, and like he's still do like he just plays second at Seattle. Like Pat's still doing well. Like he's on he's, a good team. He's taken away from his legacy though. By having really bad performances individually and a like really bad like years, yeah, does that negate away from some of his greatness? No, nah, like, he's 19 championships. Like to do that, he's like, decorated. He, he's top 10. Yeah, but is yeah, he? Yeah, doing play? top 10 of all time. It's just like that. That's me, Pat Clay Teep. Next I group. think they're they're interchangeable. I think. Uh, How does Clay have? I think Teep has to be above Pat. Like 12, maybe? Clay has 12 wins. And you know why I say that? Why? Because Pat kept playing and hasn't won since, like, has has Pat won since he teamed with Teep other than the first event at AW? I don't know. So is that championship enough to propel Pat above Tyler? Yes, because he had uh, nine fingers. (laughs) (laughs) No, but but this is an interesting topic (laughs) because how much do you weigh, like, the fall from grace – into like his legacy because if you're not placing well and like you were and you retire and you realize it I feel like you like kind of like retire a legend or you like live, live long, long enough, enough to see yourself, see yourself become the villain the <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean though it's hard you said villain he said shitter that's how you know sam's a nerd right there <laughs> i don't know i guess the, i guess it's, a, it's an impossible metric to weigh I well, guess, well i think you know if you like the game and you you like your job, you like your life, you just keep playing. Yeah. I mean, I don't think Pat cares, you know, about what anyone says. Like, if, if he likes playing COD, he likes playing COD. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't really – I don't really factor that into it. I'm just saying, like, yeah. in terms of no, legacy. No, yeah, I agree with what you're saying. I just see where, you know, Pat's probably coming from. Okay. So, let's agree that that is six, seven, eight. Who's nine and ten? Well, you had a You, on you didn't – yeah, you, you said attach. Like, why attach I, over Zuma? I, I think – Because attach has a world championship and Zuma doesn't? What kind of question is that? I think I think you'd be dumb not to put Slasher I thought, there. I thought Zuma was on his team. Slasher? I'm an idiot. What kind of question. Slasher How? has to be in the top ten. Apathy's above Slasher. I what? mean, or, well, how? Okay, because let's talk about this. What, hold yeah. on, no, no, no. First of all, you should have to convince me why Slasher's above Apathy, but I'll do it anyways. Apathy's above Austin <laughs> for this simple reason. All right, in Ghost, Apathy has wait, champ- wait, 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 wait. Well, I I would say nine and ten are App and Slasher. Okay, who's who's the, nine and ten? App and Slasher. Who's nine? That I would say well, Slasher and then App. How that is that is unbelievable to me. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, no, no, no. He's actually getting pissed. He just no because he's not using lo- he's them. not using logic. <laughs> like all right, so Apathy in Ghost has a championship. He also has a set. He has a silver medal from X Games. Apathy in AW won a championship with Austin. 
And then uh, Austin went on to have, I think, a, a better year. Austin than got third in champs. Yeah, he had a, he had a better Started. year. He had a better year than Apathy. Okay. Uh, in Ghost, at, oh, I forgot to mention, Apathy won regionals and then got fourth at Ghost. Regionals champs. wasn't a tournament. He got fourth at Ghost champs. Okay, so we can use that kind of okay. same thing as okay as Austin whatever. At okay, Ocean. that's your, well, that yeah, that that would be like counterbalance to what Sasha did in AW. Okay, so Ghost and AW are equal. And then that's like that's kind of unfair though because that's like an event that Austin wasn't at, or if he was at, he just plays. Badly. He put no, he played in Ghost. What do he plays at Champs? I don't know. I don't think he qualified. I played Austin in a championship. Did he qualify? In Ghost. No, he didn't. He he failed to qualify regionals. But he was at regionals. Yeah, he was. I believe okay, well, that. That changes things. Whenever. Yeah. All right, so, so let's go. Ghost AW Black Ops Three. Um, Black Ops Three. What they're on the same team, the, team. the whole time? Well, Envy no, Slash was, was on Envy. Was that Pat team at the beginning? Who's, who was on it was that like, team? It was, it was like Pat, John, Tyler, and Cap, right? At the beginning of Black Ops 3. Ew, what yeah, the Slash, fuck? Slasher's <laughs> team. <laughs> Sla- <laughs> Slasher's what team sucked. Team? Yeah. This is a weird-ass team, man. Slasher's team was, was John, not good the in the John beginning. The trade happened after South Carolina? Because that's the event that we won. I think they traded. Because they, they, we beat them in finals. After the playoffs. Yeah. I'm trying to think because I guess if we say Ghost and AW are equal, then Slasher might be able to be ninth simply because of the last few events. Yeah, this yeah, last exactly. championship, yeah. and then yeah, I, so that's my argument. I think I think uh, Apps like, Ghost yeah, that makes sense. Apps yeah. Ghost catalog might Thank edge you for out. Me. <laughs> it might edge out Slasher's AW catalog. It's pretty close though. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, is Attach above both of them? No. Uh, why not? I mean, what? So he won one championship, world championship. Yeah, he won a, a big so championship. Did it, so did Apple and Slasher. Okay. And the, how many tournaments has he won? In he won AW. AW. See, the thing is, Attach won tournaments against us, and we had a mental block. So that's an asterisk right there. Mm. All right. What are your <laughs> what are what are, you, what are your thoughts on <laughs> who rounds out who rounds out the top joke. ten? Mm. Two names. No Nine and ten. Two Point names. Throw. Uh, so we're, are we going off that Clay, Tyler, Pat? Yeah. So we're looking at eight, nine, ten, or just nine? No, ten? nine and ten. Um, I think Slasher has to be in there. I think he's in there for sure. Yeah. I think Slasher has to be in there. Um, and I, I mean, this list is based off just championships, from what I'm seeing. Pretty much. Yeah. If we were going off scale, I mean, Slasher's a hundred percent in there. But Sam um, would probably be in there if we're going off strictly skill. Yeah. Those are two very different lists. I'm definitely like top Tyler's definitely. <laughs> You're not even close. <laughs> <laughs> See, but how do? You, how, well, well, the thing is, how do you how do you I mean strictly how skill? Do you I might skill? just throw in dashy for the hell. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. How, how do you how do you measure skill? Wait, let's do it online. You can't measure it, so exactly. you just don't. Yeah, you exactly. measure statistics online. And, and if like because like, dashy, dashy, like your present dashy. day skill is going to be like skewed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or your list is going to be skewed by present day skill. Yeah, like who you would be I mean? top five for going off a of skill base? Like, like, like how? Like how can <laughs> I Sam, how can Sam all year? judge fucking Rambo's skill? That's true. Like he's going to judge Rambo, judge like Rambo sucks, me? but yeah. I thought Rambo was Please a genius. <laughs> this dude oh was God, was so flanking the cross. This dude was flanking the cross on, on a Octane, shooting people in the back. Like, you know, on our Octane S&D when you rush yeah. to the bus, yeah. he had a shotgun flanking people, shooting them in the back at champs, bro. Like, who was doing that shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> All right. Wait, if wait, if you got a position with that shotgun, you were Hold on. Yo, Tyler, you were. do you remember when we played you guys in scrims online and Rambo was using a shotgun? Yeah. Dude. Damon used to hate him, bro. Oh, Damon he was like, hated this, him. He was like, this Ratatouille motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wasn't that thing called like the Bulldog or yeah. something? Yeah, Rambo used the, all of strikes on Dom. Backdoor beat Dom. Wait, that's how I won my X Kitchen. Games gold medal. Yes, yes, I remember. Top yeah. Sovereign. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, I remember Sovereign. I was like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the Bulldog for yes. the win. All I remember is Sov, S and D, just Bulldog and War the whole time. All right, all so I guess right, we're. Number 10. I still didn't give him my number 10. Um, Who have we said so far? You said Slasher. You said App, Merc, John. Who do I got to pick from? App, Merc, John. Big T. Big T. Big Nate. T. I Nate. mean, if we're going off championships, it's got to be App. It's got to be App. It has to be App. It can't be Haggy. Haggy's last three years has completely obliterated his, his like, top 10 legacy. He's top 20 all time, but he's not top 10. And no, Haggy has, like, six. A lot of I think Haggy has six, six chips. 20 like a lot that, of people. So. 20 is a lot. All right. All right. I think that's good for top ten. 
We're done with top ten. We're done with top ten. It's over. We're like, moving on. Even someone like Classic. Like, Classic's made a lot of money and won a lot of championships. And, like, yeah. he's fairly new. Like, he came around, like, in Ghosts. It's hard, dude. It's like, hard. I wouldn't say top ten, but, like, well, he's well, up if there. Well, the top ten list, every single person has a ring. Yeah, you have to have so, a ring in the top ten. Yeah. So if I didn't win champs last year, I wouldn't be in the top ten. Shut up, man. I don't know. It's hard, bro. It well because somebody else would have won champs. All right, you just had no to ask because that you would be Seth. The Apple. reason is is because somebody else would have won champs and they might have took your spot. So like, yeah, you'd be a shitter. <laughs> Shut up. Took your spot in the top ten. Oh, I was like, oh, okay. All right, man, we're moving on. Yeah, that's too, too deep. Long. All right, yeah, that's too deep. All right, so we're going to move on into the next topic, which is going to be the five fingers of death. These are five particularly difficult questions that we're going to discuss amongst each other. So number one is, who is the worst respawn player on a top team? Bang, we'll start with you. We'll do a snake jab for the questions. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> you, oh God. You get, you get one skip, but if you use the skip now, you can't use it in the hot seat. Oh, no. Oh, Alright, let's go. Dude, I gotta top factor team, in like, what are we saying? like top four teams. Or bro, no, this is get, coming at someone's. I, play, I, I guess like a, a top. Uh, in the wait, league, so a us? top eight team in in each or in what? Is, what makes the playoffs for, for top four? So out of the top four teams in each division, who is like the worst respawn player on a top team? Bro, that's a lot of people. That's, hard. that's a lot of people. Bro. Yeah, it's not a lot. It, it's not a lot of people because you narrow down to the bad people, <laughs> and then you're like, okay. Well, no, if you're a top four team, you're not bad. <laughs> All right, no. Come on, go. I got my answer. Can I, can I, I come know back? I know who you want to say. Say it. I know who you want to say. <laughs> say it. We all know I, who I, wants I, to I, say. I know who he wants to say, oh too. Oh, my God. Come on. Jerry. Ah, oh, there it is. He said it. What do you say? Oh. Really? Oh. No. Bro, I've been under this like weird... Wait, Jerry's been playing good. No, nah, Jerry's been playing good. Jerry's he played good against So, us. a lot of the UK players, when I had them on the podcast, they yeah. said Jerry's that... Jerry's been playing good they, recently. They no, said he, Slack he, was a burger. He and I've been seeing us. a lot of fans say Slack's like... He, he's like really smart. He's just not as talented. When did that like become like a thing? Like I just thought Josiah was like a little like kind of talented. Like I'm not even trying well, to like white knight this. I'm well, not trying to white knight this. Every I'm being team has, serious. No, I'm, I'm guessing. Every team has a scapegoat. Yeah. Like, yeah. someone that doesn't drop the numbers, but obviously, like, people, just for an example, people would look at Damon. He doesn't drop the numbers, J-Cap but he does the dirty team, work. Though. So, like, I guess LG Cap is... is literally the only reason that we were good. See, no, like, I'm saying I thought Cap, Cap was Damon the scapegoat type. for that team. Right. It wasn't Doug for everyone out there. Oh, my God, Doug. It, wasn't, it, wasn't, it actually wasn't Doug. No, I wouldn't even say uh, it there anyways. See, the question's weird. Are we talking a top four team no, right no. now? Top, top eight team, bro. A team you play where you go hard, like, okay, they could probably beat it. They might be able to beat us on a good day. Shit, there's a lot of players. Um, I love TJ, but TJ's been struggling recently. Really? That's ah, not a good answer. Yet. You don't I, think so? Yeah, TJ's been struggling agree. recently. I can't agree with that. <laughs> that's answer, so whatever. Wait, Anyone no, that's not my answer. answer. I'm just, I'm just, I'm answer, spitballing answer. because I'm saying, like, recent performance, TJ has been playing a Bang, lot I have the absolute answer. And you guys are going to all agree. Can I say it real quick? No, no, no. I'm going to be mine. I'm not even trying to hate. I think it's Joe from Ed Reserve. Nope, that wasn't my and answer. And Respawn. Wait, I, can I take his answer? Yeah, you can. I think Joe, too. Joe's really, really I'm good. I'm trump you guys. Wait, He's no. He's really consistent. Like, hold on, dude, though. Like, you're going to say someone from Splice. Hold on, he though. I really think, well I think, think Joe is really good in search and really, really good in like the situational clutch plays, though. So Why like are you coming sort of, at another redhead, bro? It makes up for it. Fellow Why are you coming at the other redheads? You guys I say I, s- I say him because like he's just really inconsistent. Like versus us in finals at Atlanta, he went off. Like dropping forty fives and hard point. Like he has capability, but he doesn't do it every single match. Yeah. But like him, like he's always making like, like the dirty plays. So like, I, he's, he's, a, he's a good player. He's on a top four team. I have the ultimate answer and you can't dispute it. Wait, Ian has to go. Um wait, you, you don't, you don't, I want you to answer first. I have the ultimate answer. I want you to answer first. No, it, it's, no you have to answer. No, 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 no. Yeah. He has to answer yeah, you first. Answer first. He, you're the host. Facts. I watch COD all day, too, so I know Wait, if your answer is correct or not. And Joe was the incorrect answer. But that's a, that's a close. That's close. Though. Yeah, he's, a, he's in there. Yeah. We don't watch COD every day. Like, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it is that serious, though. <laughs> Um, Pharaoh? 
<laughs> you just and hate Pharaoh ever since the dual pistols. No, nah, Pharaoh's really, really good, but he's inconsistent too. He's, like I've seen Pharaoh have thirty and tens, and I've seen him have nine what, and eighteens. What I've seen him do is just he's so in inconsistent, and like I feel like he, the way he plays, he has no fucking idea what's going Wait, on. That, any answer that is the worst in? player on their team and their say, top team is an is a valid answer. So that, that's enable. okay answer. Are you gonna say enable? No. Who are you gonna say? Aqua. By a landslide. What? You at least had a point eight in hard point for he had a point eight in hard point at the last event and this event. Well, you're looking at a wait. Statue. They're wait. They're a bad hard point team though. Dude, Yuli's had a he's had he has under a one in CTF. They're just a very bad hard point. That's See? weird because you guys don't watch enough Yuli COD, bro. Is really good online. He's top five worst KD respawn in their division. That's don't actually get, crazy. don't get fiber. I didn't know that. Don't get fiber. Yep, and it's mind blowing because Yuli's usually good, but he is the worst respawn player on a top team right now. That's actually weird. And it's not even close, actually. Wait, who I did not ones? know that. Who are the other ones? Changed my answer. Uh, the other people that I was thinking about was like Aqua, Joe. Um, I didn't think about Pharaoh, but I guess I would probably put Pharaoh in there. Pharaoh's. I I want to rephrase. Pharaoh's good, but I feel like how he plays like Pharaoh could should. screw over his team really bad if he's not getting kills. But um, he usually is getting killed, so I don't know my answer. I was kind also of thinking Fellow, because he has not shown me any brilliant moments well, out of the two tournaments that I've watched. But Pristini has been stepping it up Bro, since the last week. Yeah. Did you see that stat with Preston? They're like 23-2 and two when he's positive. Yeah, that's actually insane. Yeah, they're 23-2 and two in hardpoint when he's positive. And then... A certain map. Is that on a map? It was on like St. Marie or London. Wait, that's I think a lot it was of London. I think it was London. Wait, you right. tell me they played London Docs 25 yeah. times? Yeah, yeah. Next question. Formal might be in that now too, low key. <laughs> I'm not gonna bait you guys, but uh, maybe right now, not for long. You might be in, not for long. All right, unpopular opinion: Which top team is overrated? E. LG. What'd you say? EG. LG. That's those are two good answers. I thought I thought you guys would all say EG. But I think LG is gonna get better. Obviously. I think they're rated properly now. I think the community doesn't think LG is good. I don't think they do. Either. Talent wise, they're good. I don't know what's good with them though. Nothing. I know what the obviously division. they Who's have the top talent record in the other division. <laughs> EG, Red Reserve, uh, and TK, and Envy. I think Envy is the most overrated team. Ooh, I know that. I know. I, it's think, I think Envy's good. Wait, can we can we use repeat answers? Like, yeah. I can repeat it. Just give a reason. Right now, LG. I mean, LG is struggling right now. They should be way better than they are right now. I'm okay. honestly like looking I, forward to their next two matches because they play Mind Freak and Unilad. And like I think both those teams could potentially either take them game five or beat them. They're I mean, going to lose those even, matches. Just, I think. Like, like even those players will say like right now we're not as good as we should oh, yeah. be. Like one hundred percent. I think everybody agrees. So I think they're obviously. I think come event time they're going to be really good. I mean, there's no way that team isn't good. So you guys right, think Envy's like a right really now. good team? I think Envy's I think, good. I don't think they're even rated highly. Who? See, Envy. Wait. I think Envy's. Underrated. I sit on the desk here in, in Columbus for every match. I haven't heard and we like people gas up Envy all the time. Really? I think Envy is underrated. And I think Envy is like the yeah. most overrated team, like by a landslide. But I don't know. I guess time will tell. What about you? Well, I would say from the other the other division, Phase is going to get top four. Um, I it's well, it's either going to be it's. <laughs> 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 What's the <laughs> stupidest shit I've ever heard? Shut the fuck up. That was the dumbest. <laughs> meaning, no meaning, meaning, Shut TK or Envy is not going to get top four. TK or Envy? Let me fucking finish. This is what I'm talking about. He can't right hear here. me, but he's here. You guys are letting me finish. All right, go rage. ahead, Ian. Yeah, so <laughs> I'd say TK. I want to go live with that. That's actually a pretty good answer. <laughs> I would say TK. I thought it was going to be like resounding Ooh, EG Envy. So you guys just threw me a bunch of curveballs. Wait, there's no way you didn't think we were going to say LG. At least two of us. I just, I just am under some assumption that people don't think LG is good. Like I mean, least. people are I, I, always going to think LG's good. I think people thought they were good until we played. Dude, LG, do you guys? All right, hold on. We might look at stuff from a different, like, scope now that I'm not a pro Suit. player anymore. Because, like, I, I watch the streams. I get the chat. I read the Reddit. I look at Twitter and stuff. So I'm not always, like, in the scrims and in the mumble as much as I used to be. So obviously pro players think LG's really good. But, like, the fans and shit do not think they're good. Well, no. You, like, trust me, the pros agree. I mean, yeah. Like opinion. LG and scrims, the entire community was talking about how bad they were doing. Like no. everybody, like every top team was like, we smoked them, and it's just like, I don't even know. But what with that being said, like that team can beat any top team in the game. 
And yeah, it, right and, now they're at the bottom it, of their potential, and they're it's through exactly. the roof. Exactly, so. like like they can go up against Rise to like they had a close ass match versus Rise. And yeah, like, they did. And like, like I would pro- say Rise the best team in the game right now. Yeah, and I it hurts me to say it. Matches because they lost him. Period. All right, let's move on to the next next question. We Matt needs more time with Cap to make him better. Oh yeah, I agree with that. That's actually I didn't hear you at first. Okay, which player has had the most unfortunate COD career? We'll do Snake Jeff. Start with you. Brian Saint. Gotta be Brian Saint. Um, Wait, me. (laughs) You're an optic. Anybody who's won like a few chips, I feel like is not really unfortunate. Well, Uh, I think my answer might change your mind. I would honestly probably say Seth. What? 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 That is the stupidest answer I've no, ever heard. No, because... <laughs> <laughs> yes! <Yeah, laughs> T- TP's crying. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Give me the mic. Wait, hold on. Wait, Seth, wait. Seth he just said playing. Seth had the most <laughs> unfortunate COD career among all pros. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just thinking competitively. All right, humbly hold speaking, on. Seth is a... Multi, well, million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, bro, I'm <laughs> speaking. I'm speaking. Seth, Seth put the bottle down and Ian picked it up, bro. <laughs> what was bro, that? Seth, come on. No, wait, man, no. I'm not even going to explain Seth myself. has picked and choose wait, his wait, teammates. Wait, wait, What is your reason? Before that, though? Because okay, he, it w- he played for 10 I fucking years and then won a world championship. 10 fucking years. You just rustled my jimmies, bro. Hold Ten on. Fucking I turned years. down EG and they won champs easily. That with was Damon. The, that was the worst. Seth, Those chance. Hold on. I got to. I, yeah. I turned them chance. down, and we would have been disgusted. You're not the only person who's went yeah, through fu- that, though. Fucked yourself. Last year before COD Champs, Envy asked me to join their team, and then EG wouldn't let me, and then Cap went on to get a point six and get See, second. I don't know any of that. So that's shit. happened to a bunch of people. <laughs> so, so that's happened to a bunch of people. Yeah. So his Envy career has not been a Let's go. If you're a millionaire, bro, your career can't be. Yeah, great. but that's content that he fucked and worked. He worked his ass off to do. True. You know what I mean? I can't count. You can't Playing count. Playing Minecraft. Yeah. I'm you getting gassed. You, the you can't count any of that. Can't be At the end of the day, yeah, dude. yeah, 25, but how long has he been playing? Give him the mic. Give Zinni the mic, dude. We move on, bro. I'm about how to long has he been playing? Bro, he has I'm about to lose full. He has 25 <laughs> championships. Bro, right? I do. played against fucking Fear Moho, dog. 26 champion. I see where you're coming from, you but anybody, have more. anybody with 26 championships is not the most unfortunate Yo, Bill player. Russell had the most unfortunate basketball career, I'll be honest. I'll be the one to say it, bro. All, all I'm saying with Seth's, unfortunate, with unfortunate Seth's talent, he should have career. way more. Damn, that is a teammate and a brother right there. He bro. should have wow. way more. All right. He's not wrong. Like, dog, I came in in Black Ops 2. He should have, he should have been like Has way LeBron had the most unfortunate NBA career? I can't wait Probably. till Twitch chat hears this. Probably. Fucking no. right now. Wait, what do you mean? He's been playing without a wrong. fucking team. I don't think it's the most unfortunate. There's I, been players. I cannot wait until it's, Twitch it's LeBron, chat gets to this LeBron. moment right I here. I was hooping, and I was like, K-Love, hit a fucking three. Like, <laughs> so, it was, is Seth's career been more unfortunate than Mir's career? I would say Mir just won Kyle too soon. Kyle four. Too quick. <laughs> Kyle What's Kyle more unfortunate? Four. What's that? You don't remember? Uh, the world of beer. Probably Seth because it's longer and sadder. <laughs> he decided to build fucking blocks wait, let, and right, Minecraft. Bro, this is the dumbest answer I've ever Over. heard in my life. Can we move on, please? All right, yeah. Go ahead. Zinni, Zinni, what's your answer? I wasn't thinking of Mir. I was going to say Proofy because, like, I think, I don't know. Like, for me coming up when I was young, like, Proofy was, like, a lot of people considered him, like, one of the best. He was that guy. Exactly. Like, Proofy was really good. Singer, actor, songwriter, like, And, and like, he, he's played in every game. Like, he's always tried to play, and he just could never get... A good team. It all went down from the battlefield uh, thumbstick. It didn't have his control, control freak. control freak. That is an absurd a- video. A- after that, it all went downhill, <laughs> bro. I'm going to cue that up on here. That is an absurd Dude. video. Was that staged? I don't, I don't I remember don't what so. happened. I don't Dude, remember. all right, hold on. For those of you who don't I know like what's going on. The th- I remember it, but I don't remember exactly I'm going to fill you that. in. So he went to do this battlefield uh, tournament. With a bunch of other personalities from esports, T Squared was there. Um, Miss Violence, a bunch of other people were I there. Remember, yeah. So he members? he was in. So so they would team up with like a, a person who was like an actual like soldier, and you'd have to do like real life challenges where they would carry you, and then video game challenges where you would carry them. So Proof made his way to finals with his teammate, and it was finally Proof's time to shine. The one v one battlefield, right? And this was for a lot of money. I it think. was for a lot of money. It was for fifty k, and it's on console, right? And it's a first person shooter. He's going against T Squared, who is a Halo player, so it's a, lot, it's a little bit different than COD. Battlefield's similar. And Miss Violence, who is a girl gamer that's not that good. She she, she's, she played, but she wasn't that good. That's and, tough. And, I mean, I, I watched her play for her. She wasn't that good. She ends up winning, but anyways, 
he didn't play because he couldn't put his control freak on. And oh, that's right. Yeah, you so, gotta play, dog. So, <laughs> so, so his you teammate. Play. His teammate his, <laughs> you gotta be shit, me, son. His teammate is this brolic soldier, and he's like, "Yo, homie, like, yo, you're about to kick ass, bro." Like, and he's like, "You guys gotta give me the control freak." <laughs> <laughs> and the the per, the producer's like, "Dude, I'm not getting you this device. You can't use it." And he goes, "Well, I'm not playing then." And he said, "All right, well, forfeit your fifty grand and leave." And he goes, "Okay, I'm fucking out of here." And what? He, and he leaves. <laughs> what I'm son? sorry, Jordan, but what that, is, that that video. Me and him have talked about this so many times. Dude, it's so producing? funny. A good answer for most unfortunate. He's I, he's one I of the most unfortunate because Jordan should have won way more chips. I don't think Mirren's lost. I think I was lost in there too. Nah. I'm gonna throw a curveball. I'm gonna throw a hard curve. I'm gonna say Merc the Luke. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he's. Pretty I think Joey. Actually, that's a good answer. He got Joey, dropped from Optic for no Joey, reason. after we dropped him, like. I mean, I don't. He didn't go downhill by any means, but like after we dropped him, we were obviously the content team, and then he went to another team that just wasn't winning. Who did he go to? Envy. No, we they won. we got we won. Envy, you got second. At, you guys got second. We got at champs. second at champs, and we won two chips. We got second like five times. But so. then where did Joe go after that? He retired after Envy. We we got like ninth at champs, and then he retired. That doesn't really make sense to me. Going into AW. I don't think he like qualified. He teamed with your boy in AW. Well, he might as well have oh, retired. Oh, was it a that. not qualifying thing? I don't think he qualified for champs. No, no, I remember Joey was like doing really well, and then Joey just like no, it, it, listen, stopped playing. In Ghost, me and Joe teamed the whole time. We did really good, and then going into AW was a complete like shock to Call of Duty. We weren't that good. Then we split up, and then ever since like me and him split up, like he his whole year was like bad, and then he didn't have like circle of players to like fall back on. Like I could always go back so, to Ricky, yeah. parasite them. So yeah, I maybe. didn't know exactly how Joey like his career went, but I knew that Joey like had potential, and then it just went wrong so fast. And then it's like yeah. once you're in that tier, it's like you it's so hard to come back up. Wait, that's the best answer. Joe's had the most unfortunate cock career. Thank you. Because he didn't have another circle to fall back to, so he just got fucked. He had he had literally like us and you guys. No. Yeah, but, but Joe you're, Joe you're was on Optic in like unoptic. the golden era of Optic. Joe was on Optic during the golden era. Yeah, and then got dropped, and then played one more year, did like relatively well. And when and Joe got dropped, and you can attest to this, correct me if I'm wrong, he was probably grinding the most COD, like previous to being dropped. I don't really on remember. Your guys team. I mean, if you're, I'll take your word for it. Because I, I remember you guys were doing all the Minecraft stuff. Weren't you in the same room as him? They lived together. But <laughs> I was literally on a different. I would wake up and stream. No, and him and Nate Chat were competing, uh, like streaming. Remember that time? Oh yeah, I remember that. They were like wake up earlier. Like, yeah, they were trying. I was to, up at seven a.m. I was like, "Yo, Matt, you still asleep, bitch? I'm, <laughs> I'm live." No, cause give me those six K viewers, son. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we were so petty, huh? Can you turn the stream on and take them all? No, nah. no. It was whoever it was. I thought it was whoever. <laughs> I thought it was whoever Sad. turned their Sad. stream on first. Huh? I thought it was whoever turned their stream on first. It was, but then he'd gradually beat me out. Wow. No, because uh, Joe. to say. <laughs> All right, Sam. You what about me? you? Uh, I was gonna say Lamar. No. 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 Well, I don't really care if you guys agree. That's a good. I mean, it is a good answer, yeah. I would say Lamar until this year. He got sold off of his league spot in AW, and he got benched in all of Black That's Ops Three tough. by C Nine. I just I can't use players that are like I guess I don't want to use players that are still like playing and still have a chance to like really. I mean, career. I guess, but like up until this point, it's been pretty important. Like it's, He's it's completely there. out of his like hands. He he didn't play badly to get dropped. He got his league spot sold by Aware and AW, and, and he got benched by C9. Wait, and, that that wait, and hold up. Sucks. And now he's the most hated pro per 60% of the COD community. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? Lamar, like, I understand if, like, Lamar's an acquired taste. I love Lamar personally. Same. But, like, I guess to the fans, he just comes off the, as, he like... He seems like King Dish. No, nah, he's <laughs> like, fuck you. Back. This is my money. <laughs> like, fuck you. Like, Yo, when we were person. doing the last COD cast... He walked in with like a navel in the middle of it, and the whole chat went, "Lamar, fuck that guy!" Like, just yeah, attack him. We're like, it. "Yo, why do you guys all hate him?" Like, nah. like I don't know. We just do. I, I feel like all of y'all's answers were people getting dropped. Danny gets unnecessary hate. Danny. Nah, Danny definitely gets unnecessary hate. But all of y'all's answers were all people getting dropped. His was just unfortunate. He had nothing to do with any of those decisions. Bro, Danny's yeah, I like. Feel, I, I feel like there's two, like to this, to this, uh, to this question. There's two different kind of answers. Like, there's like out of your hands, unfortunate. And then there's like Haggy, unfortunate, where he kind of like you know screwed himself in a lot of these yeah. situations. So I don't know. It's it's I would say like 
out out of your hands i don't really know i mean i i don't know about all, all the like behind the scenes shit like what sam was saying i didn't i, I didn't know half that stuff about lamar so. <laughs> yeah um all right we'll move on to the next one who's the best player on your team sorry were you this one Okay. Shit. Skip. You get one skip. He was waiting to use it. Are we all it. skipping? Yeah, we're all skip. Everyone skip. Wait, who the fuck are you? I got You know there's one more question, skip. right? So if you just skip now, you can't use it on the next I question. I don't care. Skip. Here we go. I'll skip. Skip? You're skip. answering, right? Skip. There we go. Fuck. Come here. Oh, pull Chelsea. Oh, shit. Unwarranted. Or unbiased. At this time, Octane. Oh, bang! That's a meat rider right there. <laughs> All right. I mean, he did. Like he did fry in the in our biggest match thus far. He did Jerry, fry, but so did you. That's what a, the that's f- a plus five to the What ego. the? If, if you guys are wondering what Sam said, he said, "What the fuck <laughs> was that?" Which top team is gonna fail to place well at Anaheim? Sorry, with Sam. Red. Red. Nice and simple. Let's keep it simple. I don't. I don't agree with that. I think Red's going to do well. I um, don't care. <laughs> do well, you mean like top four, top six? Like what, do well. what do you expect the top team to do in your mind? You don't have to tell me. And then if you think they won't do that, okay. that's not well. Yeah, so my answer is that. I expect you guys to make it to the chip. So if I were to say you, that would be me thinking like, uh, they might actually fuck up and get 12th. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's po- I mean that's possible at every event. Like you could you could lose one round of search and lose like that. It's so who do you think? Mm, I mean obviously LG's in my mind just because of their how they've been playing. But honestly, I feel like LG is gonna like come out of nowhere and do good at Anaheim. Like I think they're. That's not the question. I know, but that's why I'm not <laughs> saying LG, but. I would say like TK maybe because everyone expects TK like top six team. Mm-hmm. I I don't think they're a top six team right now. To That's be fair. completely honest. Zinny. Rise. I knew you were gonna say that. Wait. That's a good answer. Wait, that is not a good. Because Gunless has been locked in his room for four days straight. It it is a good answer. Once that team starts, I mean, what does that even mean? They almost placed He's top sixteen, four, top exactly. twelve at Seattle, and then they went, went on an insane run, and they had some close matches. Uh, everyone, that's what I'm saying. Everyone, I mean, I mean, I everybody expects Rise to be the championship, and I don't think that they'll be there. So I think were, they can place they'll place top four. I don't. I think, think they're going to get top six. I don't think they're going to win. I was gonna. I'm gonna I was gonna. So say if they don't too. win, that's like underperforming. Yeah, if that's they're not in the chip, it's underperforming. That's fair. I'd say G. I say no way they get second again. Well, is yeah, their standard second? Though? Is that what you expect them to get? Top four. I would. I, I would. I would say if you got. I second said it's their, the that's last their standard. If you got second of the last tournament, you should be able to get top four at the next one, no matter what. Yeah, if your second was legitimate. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. If your second was legitimate, so. You're the, but but then but, the but then again but Seattle, then again folks, the, the meta is still sort of the same so. Anything could happen. The thing is, Assault's improved a lot. Well, I feel like a lot of teams fucked up and played them on their best map without knowing that that, that is their best map. St. Marie. Right now, yeah. Everyone knows. And like six out of the top eight teams are in Lizard's bracket. Yeah. Well, I, that, s- I, that s- argument so, is so dumb, though. So, six so, out of the top eight the teams didn't get so top, bro, L- 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 not top eight. LG teams. with him lost to COL, E6. Mind freak. Like, well, that's one of the most so consistent Seattle, teams all year. True. So, Seattle, the meta was sort of found out in the middle of the tournament. Got smoked. And so I think a lot of like I think the placings are gonna be a lot different than what we saw at Seattle. Okay. Seattle was like so, the, so that's why I this is this is a question where you answer wrong and you hex yourself. So I won't make you guys elaborate on it. <laughs> the last one we just talked about. Yeah, All I'm right. Scared I'm gonna hex myself on my answer. Just to clarify, <laughs> I think Rise the best team in the game currently, but I think that they're going. To Speak up, bro. <laughs> He's really scared. <laughs> yeah, Rise. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go into the last segment, which is gonna be the hot seat. I had it prepared for Seth, but we can kind of all just... You've done the hot seat once before, right, Krim? Yeah, it was pretty shit. Yeah, your, your answer sucked. <laughs> so, all right. So, everybody can kind of chime in. Um, it's just quick answers. Uh, so, Seth, I guess since it is primarily direct at you, I'll start with you. These are quick. These are quick, yeah. Um, favorite rapper? Um, <laughs> T Grizzly. I haven't been. I haven't really been. I haven't been listening to rap. Favorite artist. Favorite artist? 
Shit, son. Shit. That's hard. You stop drinking booze and you just stop listening to music. Is that what happened? He's a I huge really don't. Music I really don't now. listen to music unless I'm at the gym. Bro, you should have heard him in the shower bumping country music. <laughs> wait, you I like country. Look, wait, he's saying to Cardi B in the shower. Dua Lipa. Ooh, Love some Dua Lipa. Good answer, bro. New rules. Favorite teammate. Use your skip. You can't skip any of these. Ooh. Favorite teammate of all time. Ever. Ian. Least favorite teammate ever. Uh. Ian. Cap. <laughs> Cap. Really? Well, that's because well, me and Cap, a, me and Cap didn't get along when we teamed. Most Cap. annoying pro player. Ooh, that's tough. If you, um, if you guys have an answer you really want to just probably Donnie. Out, do it. Donnie. Donnie talks a lot of shit. Doesn't back it up. Ooh. Fuck God. What was that? Donnie sucks. Donnie sucks. <laughs> Most egotistical pro player. This is for me, not Zach. It's for you, Seth, but you guys can answer if you have like an overbearing like want. Um. Most egotistical pro. You say Donnie again. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I put my mic towards you. I could you. say Donnie again. Donnie says everybody sucks. Donnie. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. I'm not trying to hex myself, but. We are Wait, fucked. We're talking about Echo ego Fox. here. Huh? We we're are about ego here. fucked against Echo Fox. So, Do you go and Donnie? All right. Next right. one. Worst gun skill. Well, I guess Seth, yeah. Um, <laughs> so anyway, Seth in the hot seat. Yeah. I'm looking at yeah, everybody. I'm like, wait, he's got to answer it. Uh, worst gun skill? Mm -hmm. Are we talking top teams or everyone? The pro player. Anyone. I'm not. I'm trying to think. I think this that's, one's that's pretty That's hard easy. to judge. What? There's so many pros, like, it's hard to. Um, it has to be a sub. Because Who ARs is? are just easy yeah, as shit give, to shoot. Give me some help here. I really. I it, it has to be a sub because ARs are just easy as shit. I don't to shoot. know who to say. Like, there's so many players with bad gun skill. <laughs> Best gamer tag. Best gamer tag. Classic. Mm -hmm. Nick. Classic. Yeah. It's not a gamer tag. Classic. Classic. What? Yes, it is. Classic. That's the best. Worst, ga worst gamer tag. John, um, Mud Dog. Ricky. <laughs> what the fuck is Mud Dog, dude? <laughs> That's a good one, dude. Mud Dog is a good one. Yeah. <laughs> like, where did the? I, I want to know the backstory. I gotta know. <laughs> What's your answer, Seth? Dude, there's so many fucking pros, man. Uh. Dude, anyone with a name is their gamer tag. All right, we'll go with we'll go with Ricky. I love you, Ricky. Okay, most overrated pro. Why you Why are you looking at Krim? They're just all smiling at me over there. Everyone off the camera is smiling at me. Most overrated. Kenny. Ooh, underrated. I took my answer, bro. Underrated. On to the next, bro. Underrated. Uh, Keep the creative juices flowing. Underrated? Mm hmm. Um, Mooney. Shit, these are hard. Mooney. Slasher and gunless. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. not it's not slasher and gunless, it's loony. Yeah, hundred percent. Alright, well what's Seth's answer? Because me and Krim agree on that, but Cap. Ooh. I think Cap does Cap is easily the most I think Cap pro. does like I, I mean what? it's underrated. Players pro. like that are just easily. all relatable to Damon. And it's like yeah. Damon did like the long routes, whatever you want to say. But he like Cap doesn't even take long I mean it does, but like he literally all gas intended, Cap is the smartest Call of Duty player of all time. Ooh. All gas intended. That's tough. I'm serious. All right. I don't. I'm not. That's fine. All right. Fake is pro. Donnie. <laughs> Krim. <laughs> Seth. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, the and the last one back. will be least funny pro. Most unfunniest. Fellow. <laughs> 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 oh, Apathy. <laughs> the 
I that said that. Good I said that one. Yeah, that's pretty funny sometimes. I love that. And like a big lumbering oaf kind of way. Uh, Fellow just like joins a mumble and says like four words, and everyone just loses full. I don't know. You gonna pass? You can't pass. Yeah, it's just there's so many freaking people. It's like it's like a, it's stressful being on the hot seat because there's so many pros. Yeah, your face is a little bit red. Is it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Looney? You think Looney's funny? No. I don't think Looney's very funny. He's least funny. Yeah. I was more so saying that people try to be funny that aren't funny, but we'll oh. wrap it up with Looney. <laughs> Okay, Tyler. <laughs> All <right>. Hello. Well, <laughs> I don't know where to rank that hot seat in the in the in the terms of. Yeah, no, that was better than mine. That was better than mine. That was better than mine. All right. Well, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of names. Did you guys enjoy the podcast? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, this bitch is two hours. Yeah. We gotta watch. We've products. had a couple of issues with the uh, camera turning on and off, but overall, it's been really Quality smooth. Content, my bros. Yeah, I enjoyed you guys coming on, man. I had a really good time. Thank you guys for taking the time out. It is now 2 a.m., bro. Shout out to the Johnny's Inns. Hmm? Shout out to the Johnny's Inns. I literally thought you said something totally different. What do you think I said? <laughs> Nothing. All right, yo, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the podcast. Much love and much appreciation to everybody. Take it easy. Shout out to these guys for coming on. See you guys next week.